I think Antarctica is kind of the forgotten continent that people don't think about. I'm uh, Joseph Carter, Senior Master Sergeant, Occupational Safety and Health Manager with the 180th Fighter Wing at Toledo Express Airport. So I was there for two months, and when you get off that plane, you first step on the continent, it really does feel like you're in a different planet. Hundreds of miles of flat snow up to jagged mountains and three, four hundred foot, you know, snow banks next to the mountains, and it's just when you look around you, it, it doesn't look like anything else that you've seen before. It's a very harsh environment. The continent itself is always actively trying to kill you. Between ice crevasses and snowstorms, any misstep down there could cause some real serious problems. Well, the airfields are on the ice. The ice is con constantly moving around the continent. Well, the runway had moved five feet in a month and a half. So we have to readjust it to make sure the runway is where the pilots think the runway is going to be when they're coming into land. On their mission specifically to the South Pole, it's so cold there that they can't shut down the engine on the aircraft or they risk not being able to restart them. So the engines are still running, they're unloading, offloading cargo, fuel, personnel. The crew that's outside the aircraft have to unplug their headsets. And so anytime you cut off audio uh, communication with people around the running aircraft, you increase the risks and hazards. With the group we have in the Air Force, and especially here at the 180th, uh, if we can do some of the maintenance and fly some of the missions we did in Antarctica, the most inhospitable place on the planet, we can definitely do it here. It just takes the willpower and the effort to, to put through the work.